Hey! Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> what it is? Oh, why are we so happy? Why are we laughing? Uh, why are we so happy? You know why. Neebs isn't here. Oh, that's a mean <laughs> thing. That's, yeah. oh, that's awful. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Ooh, we're blowing up the mic. I was even facing that way. All right. Well, you're crazy. Woo. 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 Hey, let's Woo. talk to uh, our sponsor. Do it, man. Yeah. To him? To Michael Chatfield, actually. But it says, the two-week curse follows a Marine and Army medic transported to the Ten Realms, a place where Eastern cultivation meets Western magic, Guild Wars, and World of Warcraft. Ooh. Written by Michael Chatfield and narrated by Todd Manessis. Ooh. The two-week curse is available through all audio distributors on Amazon and Kindle Unlimited. Book six is coming out soon. Ooh. Check out michaelchatfield.com forward slash Neebscast. Ooh. So lots, I'm, of, lots of drama within that read. Yeah. I huh. like, uh, I'm a big fan of audiobooks. Really? Yeah. yeah. Because you don't have to read. Well... When you're driving, oh, I'm with you. People mm-hmm. say it's unsafe to read. I <laughs> like to say, screw them. Mm-hmm. I prefer to read. What's your favorite genre? Bible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus is my genre. Matthew, Mark, um, maybe some Luke. Everything here. BC. Yeah, yeah. The, that is yeah, the best the stuff. New, the, the, new, the, before the old, old Testament, right? Yeah, right. Before all, you know, f- you know, stick in the mud shows up. It's been a while. I haven't read that many books, but probably uh, like lawyer drama. Really? Because you're always being sued for yeah. weird things. Like I'm always wanted to try to get, Tom get and... out of things. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I'm going to be in jail one day. Yeah. I know how to get out of it. Is there yeah. a particular writer that, that you mean, like? Back in the day, way back in the day, one of the first books I read, and I read it when I was living in New Orleans, was The Pelican Brief. Okay. And that was like the first time I read something like that where I was like, oh shit, man, this is cool. And it was cool because I was living in the city that it was written about. Mm-hmm. Ah. And then they ended up making a movie about it. And what do you think about that? Did they do a good job? Did they do the book justice? I loved the movie so much because I pretty much recognized every place in the movie. Mm. So I didn't pay much attention to the story. I was <laughs> I just know impressed. That place. I know the guy. Like I, I knew a lot on that of wall. like there was a place that they had a scene outside of uh, of this punk bar that was okay. literally three doorways down from where I worked. Kagan's was the name of it. All right. And you know, I guess one of the bad guy characters got caught up in this rumble, and I'll always remember like several of those people that they just got people who normally hang out at the bar to be in the movie. I knew those guys because I used to go in there every once in a while and because they would drink coffee in my place and I'd drink beer in their place. Hmm. So I know people in the yeah. movie that I haven't seen for It's like fun. It's hmm. fun seeing people in movies that you know. If yeah. You, yeah. If you look across the room, you see Duralis' shoulder. You can. Was in, in Iron, Iron Man. Man. Which one? Well, Three. The third one. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we talked about Cullen. I, we I'll, see him every once in a while. I'll introduce you yeah. to the shoulder a little later. Well, a good, uh, good friend of mine is like background extras in both those Ninja Turtle movies they mm-hmm. shot around here. Like mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles 1 and 2, Secret of the Ooze. Mm-hmm. Ooh. The Ooze had secrets. <laughs> wow. It just mutates people. Yeah, that's, that's ah. the only fucking secret. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's a secret it. you want to know, though. Yeah, yeah. Before it's you go important. swimming in the ooze, it's important to know. Don't touch it. You but, might be uh, a rhinoceros at the end of the. But day. I'm always happy when I watch those movies and I see my buddy in the background. How often do you watch those movies? Yeah, probably about once, once a, a year. Day. Oh, really? Once a once year, a I really I got to get my Ninja Turtle fix, man. <laughs> like, oh man, I wonder what Leonardo's up to. <laughs> man, see this again. Well, here's the thing: is like, you know, with movies and stuff, we have friends that are doing film work and there might come a time where we're, we have to resort to going back to film and television like yeah, yeah we might have man to. i don't Which know is, i love the internet too much i, I know here. me too yeah. this, is, too this is my whole we're too spoiled i am yeah, yeah. it's like i i would just make stuff for me here on the we internet would be so bitter on set i know we'd want to change things <laughs> why are you doing this like this I have to wake yeah. up at that it's a morning shot we can do that at night yeah. just reverse time we're spoiled yeah and i think like streaming seems to have more value now in some spaces or seems to obviously it's growing well yeah it's a whole new thing that exists yeah. i don't over, understand it. over um i guess videos like this on youtube Can what I, don't you understand um I, kind of, I get it well i get, I get I, it i get it but i don't understand the value in very small numbers as opposed to getting like let's just say if you got ten thousand people watching you at once Right. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And then you have a video that you put up that gets 300,000 views. Right. And they look at the 10,000 live impressions 
as more valuable than the 300,000 views. And I guess that part I don't talk really about advertisers. Like. Yeah. 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 And here's something that's interesting. You remember there was a bad hurricane. So this will tell you exactly when it was. When, when I was told this by a woman in Long Beach. About four, five, six years ago, there was a major hurricane in Long Island. Hurricane Sandy. Okay. Fucked up Long yep, Island. I remember that. I uh-huh. ended up going up there and I ended up working in, in Long Beach because I was low on work and I needed money gotten this woman's house she worked all over the world she worked with uh i guess with social media she told me then the entire future of what's valuable in entertainment will be live for some reason there's so much value in live well, you can't do a marvel movie live no, no yeah. you can't but, feel, but I, no I, no not the whole entire future of entertainment yeah it's yeah. just just the fact that being live it's is a such new... a major thing mm-hmm. in entertainment and major value that i remember hearing this woman and this was just just like an old lady in her 60s yeah. who just was in the business. She's like, yeah, that's the future. I, I feel like, you know, it's its its own new thing. You know, it's its its valuable as its own entertainment. Mm-hmm. Whereas like, okay, now you have live streaming, you have YouTube, you have movies, you have Netflix. Like there, there's so many options nowadays and they're all valuable in their own right. Yeah. There's Where, the I unknown I don't think, and was, I mean, when the internet first came along, everybody was like, oh, cable's doomed. Cable's going to go away. Cable's still here. Barely. People still, <laughs> but people still, <laughs> no, there's, but cable's you watch the, cable, the there's internet. a shit ton of advertising so still much, on yeah. cable. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's like, on it's the not internet. going away. It is on the internet as yeah. well, but I mean, it still exists as cable. Well, yeah. But that would lead us to ask ourselves at some point, do we start to do more live streaming? And at what capacity and what sort of content? Yeah, I don't uh, know. It's we're, like our... we're still fi- we're doing fine yeah, right now yeah, with we're YouTube fine. still. Yeah, we're great. You, you know, many of you out there listening to this uh, have made that possible. We thank you. Yes. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, sometimes you have to evolve. Uh, hopefully we won't have to pivot. And like, oh shit! Like About the, face. YouTube just <laughs> pulled the rug out from under us, Which and could now happen. we have to do something else. Hopefully, that's not the case. Uh, but yeah, I can make yeah. sandwich videos. Nope. Yeah, <laughs> we have to <laughs> adapt and overcome. Live sandwich Live videos. Live sandwich but, videos. Yeah, there you yeah, go. That's fine. But man. in some cases, you have to be proactive and not reactive. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that way, you know, it looks more organic when you grow and more thoughtful. Well, which, there's different things that we Gotta need to do. Got to be hyper we aware. Can, we're, we're paying attention. Yeah, well, it also, I mean, we all have different passions as, in regards to content as well. Like, I wouldn't want to do more live streaming just because I'm not passionate about live streaming. Mm-hmm. I mean, I enjoy doing it once a week with our audience on Twitch. That's great. But if my gig was, okay, I got, I have to live stream every day, I, I wouldn't want that. I that, don't think I would not either. an interesting we like thing to, to We me. like to craft and yeah. curate a piece of exactly. work. Exactly. It's or, like, yeah. I, I would go back to the cartoons or something like that. Mm-hmm. I would take the Patreon route. I'd yeah. be like, all right, listen, I want to make these, I want to make, make stuff. And I, this is, this is what I enjoy doing. I enjoy that crafted thing rather than that just kind of spontaneous thing. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't even think I'm not, I'm not entertaining kind of, I don't have that spontaneous brain. Mm-hmm. Like I like to really think about things. I like to write like mm-hmm. you, like you guys are a little bit sharper witted as far as puns and jokes. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm not that brain. <laughs> I can, I'll throw out a dick thing and <laughs> that's all no, I got. I'm with you. I, I, I <laughs> enjoy the creative you. aspect much more than the live aspect. Yeah. Here's what I could see us doing live. Um, that probably wouldn't infringe on our creativity is this podcast. I agree. Yes. Yeah. No, that, no, that would be, that's just us hanging out, talking as friends. That's yep. an obvious, of course, which it is kind of, sh- it's kind of what our podcast is anyway, except one of us is playing a video game. Yeah. I mean, is that's for what three? What do you mean hours? our podcast? Well, I'm you sorry, not our, our podcast. Our live stream, our live stream well, on Twitch. It's not really podcasty, no. but it is. It's it's what what's on our brain right now. We're playing a video game, but the video game is just filler. Yeah, that's true. But with with the stream, obviously, we are really focused on everyone that's there yeah. because everyone's you know donating and doing whatever. So it's like so that you have that pull where this is this would be very different. It and would I be think like would this, be, but live. It would, exactly. and I think it would have to, but it have to be also structured. Yeah, yeah, it, and yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't do we, have. We're to bad be. at that. We're yeah. bad yeah. at structuring. I know, things. but if we're <laughs> we, but if we're doing stuff that's <laughs> yeah. live, I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be that structured. But we should probably. I mean, we always come here with a topic, so that's what we do. We come here, we're, come here with a topic like we do and yeah we'll just do the same shit we do and they'll be like did they get to the part where they forget the structure you know? yeah, yeah yeah and they'll be like yeah. oh yeah they started yeah, with that they, yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 immediately <laughs> yeah, did they forget on. what they're doing oh they did it good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. i guess here's the question is and i guess this would be for the audience as well cameras or no cameras on us 
I say mm. That's a good cameras. Question. I would say cameras. Uh, well, uh, I Dry would. Alex and I, Dry Alex and I are both really, know. really handsome. You I know what? I look like hell. It would handsome. force me. It, <laughs> it would make force it. me to care about what I look like. <laughs> so I would say, uh, yeah, I'll go cameras. But people will be shocked. Anybody know a good stylist here in town? They can, uh, mm, you're doing a good up. job. I, right now, you look great. Like, I know. You're I, more I tr- kept than I am right now. I cleaned myself yeah. up today. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Dry Alex is handsome. Getting fuzzy. I'm getting a little fuzzy, and I don't like it. I like your hair. It makes me want to rub my face up against it. Here's what I know. I recently noticed about Simon. He's handsome, but he also looks like every uh, soldier in a Civil War picture. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to do when we go belly up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go to reenactments. <laughs> 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 Civil War. 15 bucks an hour. That's all I need. Live I'll live in my van. Let's stream that. <laughs> Surrender! <laughs> oh yeah, give up, baby. Give us all you forget. <laughs> and I only fight on the southern side. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo! They love pasta over there. Yeah. 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 Oh boy. <laughs> um, just so you don't forget, what was that idea? This is a hard segue. We call that in the biz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the biz. Yeah. An unthoughtful segue. Uh, uh, Neebs Gaming Live. Yeah, we. I had an idea for a game that our community could play while they wait for us to do stuff, if if that's the case. Or we could even play it um, in the spirit of Simon. Uh, bada bingo. I like it. Love it's, it. It's so perfect. I, I don't even know the structure of it. I just matter? love the name. It's bingo. It's bingo with Where this Italian whole... guy. Yeah. And you know what? Actually, the structure could be, I mean, you could make something really fun. Actually, shit, man. You we just, could sell this. I always yeah. want to sell everything. Calm, calm down. You just, yeah, the winner just up. gets a handful of spaghetti <laughs> thrown at their face. Bingo. You, listen to me. You know what bado bingo is? Instead of numbers, it's a and no, you, <laughs> no, we're all wanna, we all want to play this. Yeah, but you're right. This yeah. is Bada yeah. Bingo. Bada Bingo. Bada bingo. Yeah, makes course. sense. Never Bada mind. Bada Bingo it's, could be a... What I was thinking along with Neebs Gaming Live, it was similar. Not this year, obviously, but uh, next year. Granted, we're going to have a musical portion of our live show. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking like in addition, like not maybe the after party or maybe the night before. We call it, it'll have maybe a live band, okay. right? Whatever the case might be. And we call it the Slamma Jam. The Slamma Jam. That's what that party's called. The Slamma Jam. It's a good like na- it is a good name for a party. Agreed. It's like a that. great name for a party. Jam. A Slamma Jam. So, you know, it's just music Welcome related. To the sl- yeah. We could have Slamma Jam t-shirts. Yeah, of course. And <laughs> so, <laughs> because there's always something to sell in there. Always. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm going to put my old label on Ronzoni Pasta. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. If you take away Neebs Gaming from Neebs Gaming, it's basically Simon's channel. I know. Everything. I know. That's why I've said it for years. You cannot leave. This That's what makes me want to leave all the more when you tell me I can't do it. Tell yeah. me, tell me I I can't stay and I want to and I want to stay. <laughs> yeah, I think you should no, get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah, he's sick of me. You warn it all. You are welcome out. We'd have. all have to take a trip. The rest of us, while you're reenacting a uh, Civil War film, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, we'd have to take a trip to Long Island, find some self defeating fucking you know <laughs> asshole yeah. wop. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we could throw a rock and hit three of them. No, you gotta have half Irish, half Italian. It's a, well, it's a very okay. Yeah, that's so that's half a pretty easy. No, it's not <laughs> in New York. Half and half. Yeah. You know why it's not? Because, oh, because the Italians fucking and the Irish don't get along, and for you to have an Italian these days they do. Have no, you ever but seen? Back then, right, these have days, you ever heard of Romeo time. and okay, Juliet? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Same yeah. story. Mode. West Side Story. A little bit different there, but hey. <laughs> And cats, same cats. thing. So cats apparently was a big embarrassment. Segway, Who would have thought segway, that? Huh? Right, you can look at the segway. trailer and think cats is going to be a big embarrassment. I, I went on, on a rant like the agents are going, yeah, go ahead, do this. Dress like a cat, you fucking moron. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get away from it. And you go, no matter what you do, it's ridiculous. Were they I, counting on it to be like a, a morbid curiosity kind of thing? I, well, I don't know. At this point, yeah. yeah. I think people are just going to see it to make fun of it. Did you hear how down to the wire the CG was on that film? No. Like within the last week. Yeah, they had they they sent the film out to theaters yeah. and then sent another version out yeah. of theaters with updated effects. And like so they didn't it wasn't complete by any means uh with all the you know the tracking and whatnot. They got a day one patch basically. <laughs> 
I mean, when you really look at it. Wow. The first version, the first version just looked like uh, Dr. Katz animation from back in the day. <laughs> then they sent the, okay, the finish. You know what? Doing a movie like that would be interesting. Like, send out the whole film. Yeah. With, like, hardly any visual effects. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. still in fucking robot suits. <laughs> and it shit. looks ridiculous. And it looks insane. Like, Talk and then do more box. releases as the film comes. It's like, all right, Katz, version 2.0. So it's like movies are like video games now. <laughs> Ex- you, oh, my God. I think, you know what, Jim Sterling, Early actually. His, his, Jim Sterling... <laughs> Really you guys, do you guys watch Jim Sterling at all? No, no. Um, he did a great video just this past week, kind of on the same thing of uh, yeah, is like movies could start doing this of like adding in effects or like special, you know. All, you, oh my god! I think uh, didn't Avengers do that? They got a rain patch. I think Avengers was like <laughs> Avengers came out. And then went out of theaters skins. and then came back in. They were like, there's a couple extra scenes or something like that. So it was almost like Avengers kind of 2.0. I could see in the future, like you pay like, I don't know, 10 bucks and you can watch a version of whatever Marvel movie it is, but you're in it kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it deep fakes you as Iron Man. And it's like yeah. maybe not oh. Iron Man, but a side character maybe, you know. Yeah. Right. That would be oh, great. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the wasp. Yeah. No, no, you're cop number three. Oh, okay, oh, it's that bad. <laughs> well, I want it to be. I want to be wasp. Yeah, no, I, want, I want to be a superhero. Fifty bucks for wasp. That's yeah. it. The more you, you pay, the more you pay, the better character. Yeah, you got to yeah. pay two hundred if you want to be Iron Man. I mean, that's we're pretty giving no away quality. these ideas. Dude, a billion dollar <laughs> ideas. You know they've been thinking about this shit already. Disney, or, come on. Or you can uh, you can write in new parts for a certain Oof. part uh, Oof. or for a certain fee. Like uh, yeah, like new I, scenes. I would, yeah, I would uh, start on Star Wars immediately. Oh, the new one, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, and insert line here from character yeah. one who paid yeah. six grand. Bottom it's scene. A scene here that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, here's some explanation of what's happening. Yeah, this is the ideas uh, podcast. I know. Here. Yeah, I know. we're more ideas them up. than you can shake a stick at. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're done though, right? Oh no, <laughs> oh, there's more ideas. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have more just started. Ideas. <laughs> I'm but kidding about the are time. We gonna, are we uh like for the whole live thing? Is, did that talk finish? No, yeah. not we necessarily. go off of yeah, we're whatever. We, we, we're like adapting. We like to do. Yeah, yeah, we're no. paying attention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, figuring things out. Figuring things but out. But I think that uh, the podcast that's a very real possibility, as we've discussed previously, live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's a great win-win you know if it could make money you know i'm in yeah the, the the fun thing there is we don't have to cut out the awkward silences that happen every now and then yeah i think like, we should just, have, they just happen I, live I don't think there would be uh, oh no there's gonna be a lot happens. of stuttering by you and oh me. yeah it's gonna be stuttering <laughs> oh, by me god yeah I stutter all the time <laughs> yeah we're all gonna all of our little flubs and <clears throat> that's yeah, Duralius. Yeah. <clears throat> do that? the well, cough yeah and i get that, what it is that, i get it it's, I do. it's a throat <clears throat> it's a throat thing it's we all have our little things that we do. So those are the things that I'm thinking to myself. How do we fix that? Because yeah. nobody wants to hear a lot of that. Shit. No, I chew on a lot of ice. There's a lot of stuff that I have to take out because you go. Yeah, nobody wants to hear this. Yeah, mm. we're just going to have to be professionals. Ooh. so no drinking. No, we have to drink. No, you, like alcohol. Yeah. What kind of professionals well, but, do you work? with? Plenty of plenty of. <laughs> People drink who are prefer. See, I'm stuttering. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, that I'm, so I'm going to keep about- all your stutters yeah, in this d- episode. Yeah, just do it. Do it. <laughs> the entire there are plenty of people who are professionals drink. Okay, so much cocaine in the entertainment industry. Cocaine. Come on, that's professional as it gets. You're not a professional until you. Taking some blow. I haven't before. done blowing years, guys. Yeah, Let's calm down. Oh, well, I did, well, who's feeling guilty? Because I didn't even look at you. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, as you know, I didn't blow. As you're wiping <laughs> your nose. <laughs> what hookers? No, I've never, yeah, uh, I've never had that experience. Which part? The cocaine. Oh, copy. Yeah. yeah I've, never, I've never done cocaine. It's bad for you. I'm going to, eventually. I've talked about Maybe. this, the deathbed bender. Yeah, deathbed bender. Gonna, yeah. Real quick, are we going to lose sponsors Probably. because of all of this? Scratch that. Let's just scratch that. Scratch that. Let's just make it all that's beep. That's where the beeps happen. Beep a lot of weird beeps yeah. <laughs> that make no sense. Beeps. There you go. Was, oh, I was just talking to uh, an older couple the other day. They were like in their 70s, mm-hmm. but they were partiers. Yeah. You know, they were partying in Amsterdam like last, nice. last year. Some people can do it forever. And, and you go, that makes sense. You, wherever you, If you're ever going to do anything like that, I, I suggest you do it in places that are legal. Where there's regulations with controlled things. Environment. Of course. Controlled environments. You can do these things around doctors. And there's a lot of medicinal stuff. That people look at like mushrooms, like even edibles with THC. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of medicinal uses for mushrooms and edible THC. Lots of them. Yeah. I take Advil. 
Advil is not you nearly as good for you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> it's not Advil even close fucks to. up your liver. Yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah, whatever. I, just, I know, but you if could, I if I have one of those headaches, you know, if you but if I some gave you psilocybin on it, what's sad is if I gave you some CBD, if you had, if you had a headache and I gave you some tincture, even though like one out of three people might get a better reaction to a headache with taking a tincture of CBD. And would you go like, yeah, I'll try it. Or would you go, no, no, fuck it. I'm just going to take the ibuprofen. I don't know, because I kind of feel like you're a witch I when you offer me like oil and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. A lot of the right. educated world is witches then. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, everybody just, is kind of. Yeah. <laughs> you think about it. Everybody's a witch. I don't want your snake oil, sir. <laughs> right. Your elixirs and the whatnot sorts. You're, you're like, natural you'll take, from the earth. But, sp- go ahead. Sorry, you'll take ibuprofen though that's made by God knows who with really what knows what's in there cuz you haven't done the research. I just oh. heard um who regulates um FDA Federal the Federal Drug Administration. Yeah. They yeah. just put through that the testing portion of of new meds uh goes through quicker cuz that's good. I love uh drug commercials. And all the side effects at the end. Oh yeah, of course. It's great. It causes this. Gonna it causes this, 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 and this. Probably going to cause this. You're going to get this from this. Yeah, you're going to cause this. Yeah. It'd be great if there was a song that, it, instead of doing the real fast thing, they had to make a song about the side effects that happen. Like a very slow, or or it could be an upbeat song. Just a jingle. A what side if, effect jingle. What if songs had to have side effects? Uh, on the back end of them like if it's a love song you know about like you might get AIDS you know yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) you might have a baby please practice safe sex yeah (laughs) my dad is on the CBD train look at that yeah he was uh, he he has a little rub yeah he he fell down the other day busted his ass and he got a little CBD rub you know how many people he likes uh, it Okay, this this might be my first official plug because I got a whatever plug you call it, it just plug happened. It. Do, it, right. do it, do it, do it, do it. Plug, plug, plug. Mygreenflower.com. And I actually have a business in this. And one of the uh, the rubs, it's really easy to get people to to spend thirty dollars on one ounce of balm when they have something that's been hurting them for a really long time. And then they're like, well, some people are saying, geez, I got to try it and you're going to give me a sample for free. So what the hell? Yeah. And you give it to them. And then a minute later, they're like, fuck. Yeah. And then the okay. magic spell that he did at the. <laughs> and you can use that rub on a pork chop and it is delish. Yeah. yeah. So we got, we have <laughs> slow cook. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to make sure whatever you're getting when you do get, it's so easy to get stuff that is not, what it says it is or you don't know do if your it research. really is what it is so you got to do your research and that's that i know that uh and i think i've talked about this before the cryotherapy yeah mm-hmm. cryotherapy is awesome uh i had tennis elbow i did not play tennis nor yeah, anyways i went into cryotherapy very skeptical they got me down to like something like a negative 120 degrees Ugh. longest two minutes of my life whole body whole body except your head it's you you get into what looks like a stand-up tanning bed but your head's sticking out your clothes are off you got your underwear on you've got some gloves on you've got some booties on and you're covering up your junk with those gloves uh-huh. those and, gloves better be big gloves no man. they were they big were junk. big fuzzy gloves <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. you need they need to be yeah um because it gets cold and two days after i did it completely gone and it's never come back the other thing that was awesome about it is I kind of felt like I was being frozen in carbonite. And I wanted to tell somebody <laughs> there, I know. Like, what? what do you, what do you I know? know? It's Empire. Tell me you love me. No? No. Okay. It wasn't working. Yeah. No, it wasn't working. That, but is that, I, I, cryotherapy it's never come has up, worked for me. So is it, does it commonly not come back? It was the poor choice of words, but you know I, what I'm saying? I couldn't that, get it to go away with regular medicine. How much was it? Roughly, uh, just estimates. I know normally it's like forty dollars. There was a special that day that was twenty. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. If so you cheap have as pain shit. somewhere that won't go away, try it. How do you guys feel about the IV bars? Haven't heard of this. What is? I that? think they're great as long as the people who are sticking the IV in yeah. are obviously they're becoming more and more legit. popular. Oh, you go to a bar. A and... well, it's not a bar. Okay. I, they call it that for whatever reason, but it's like I don't know. Why don't they have a delivery a service? Do they have something where I, I should be you able to on an bet. app? Be like, come to my work. house because I'm so hungover. I get the IV. Yeah. I'm good to go. That <laughs> they does. will hydrate the fuck, fuck out of you. I mean, a bottle of water will do it too, right? No. No, not the same not way. Not like IV. Not okay. the same way as... Um, not even close. Of, uh, you know, the bags have 
What's the? Oh, there's a, a, a all the saline or saline. something. In it? Yeah, okay. And, uh, and electrolytes probably and electrolytes, or other all things. That stuff. So, but it goes directly in. It's motherfucker. Uh, you drink a Gatorade two, two much times, different. <laughs> two times before. And you, you, you were met or met her years ago. Oh yeah, no, I know. I know exactly yeah, what you're talking yeah. about. She, yeah. And uh, we passed out, trashed, you know, with an IV. <laughs> in our arms and woke up just feeling like I didn't touch a drink the night before. It felt better than wow. it was amazing. Crazy. It really is. Going to sleep with a needle in your arm seems not a, a good bit, idea. I'm not scary. recommending <laughs> any of this. Because when yeah. she poked me, she got right in when she was trying to get herself. She, she was wasted kept missing. And she couldn't do it. Uh, I, just, <laughs> I just peed a little when you said that in my pants. I'm I peed sorry. a little. Because that made me uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. just not gonna get that drunk anymore. Well, that's no, so but I mean to talk to. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> Wait till the show. Well, yeah. I, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to say that. I don't think I need something like that, but we all know that it can do some good for you. Like when you're dehydrated, people just don't say, oh, we'll just drink Gatorade. Oftentimes, no, there's yeah, no other way you need to get to the... We were taught like in, in boot camp and stuff, like um, the water you drink in that moment is the water that benefits you the next day. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, drinking like before food. you go to bed, it's obviously a good idea, but like the IV is like direct access. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It is immediately... Little, goes a little quicker. Yes. Gets right into the yeah. stream. Taps right in. And regardless, and if, if yeah, if you can drink a gallon of water a day, perfect. Yeah. You're going to be that's fine. A, that's a you're yeah. never good gonna goal need to have. You know what? If you're going to drink, you're going to have a night of drinking, you know, two beers, two drinks, and a water. Two Which, drinks and a water. It's a great discipline yeah. to have. Water. I never do it, but it's a great <laughs> discipline to have. You know who we should talk to? I Our do. next sponsor. Uh, we Get need a man. to thank them. League of Legends. That's right. It's a new year for the LCS, North America's official League of Legends professional league. The 2020 season kicks off January 25th at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern on watch.lolesports.com. Even if you've never watched, don't worry, LCS hosts and casters, make sure you can follow along the action. This will be an exciting start as the latest game update, Rise of the Elements, introduce permanent map and buff changes for the players to deal with. There's a team for anyone to root for. Maybe you want to see a classic like TSM Rise Again. Join Team Liquid to see if they can secure yet another championship title or lean into your darker desires with one of the newest team's evil geniuses. There's even more this season to enjoy with Monday Night League joining the schedule. Catch the game Saturdays at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, Sundays at noon Pacific Time, and Monday Night League at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time on watch.lolesports.com twitch or youtube that's watch.lolesports.com twitch.tv forward slash lcs or youtube.com slash lol esports for saturday sunday and monday night league action thank you league of legends thank you uh, thank you thank you yeah. thank you oh, league still at it man they're, yeah, they're killing it yeah aren't they? they've been killing it I remember we were at one of those cons years ago oh walking God. by a league tournament. God. It was like, man, the energy there was pretty crazy. It was insane. It was the yeah. hot spot on the floor for it sure. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like, I had no idea what was going on. But mm -hmm. I was like, I can see why people get into this. Mm. It's a sporting event. Mm -hmm. But with... Oh, yeah. No slam jam, but... Anything <laughs> no, no slam no jam, jam whatsoever. No. slam jam could be a sport, too. With little effort, but with high energy. Yep. Lots it, of yelling. Yeah. Just got to find out what the sport is. The sport would involve throwing something into something that would get you points. Mm -hmm. And I has have a lot of the maybe a baguette. Do. No, that'd be more. That's maybe a, uh, uh, a handful know. of spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe like throwing and tossing a ravioli into like a little cup of sauce. In the, in the, I was thinking room. something bigger. <laughs> what? I was thinking something bigger, like, like several different dumpsters. And here's oh. Whoa. You you take some sort of trash, you throw it into a dumpster. If nothing comes out, that's a point. But you might hit a homeless person and they come out and chase you. So Ooh. it's that slam a jam. Slam a jam. Maybe yeah, a, who's that? A <laughs> ring of cheese? <laughs> one of those hoops yeah, of the ring of, a big old cheese thing. That's an expensive sport then. That's one yeah. of the yeah. no, you talking about dumpsters and cheese. Like you get yeah, there's a lot no, of I'm thinking of like something very, very simple. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, we you know, need to make like it homeless people? No, let's do let's get a bag. Well, yeah. we need to yeah. include them into something. They're not they're not doing anything. Yeah. They are doing a lot of things. I they do a lot of things. A lot of standing around. No, hey, <laughs> a lot of window cleaning, uh, car window. Uh, yeah, that's always whether so Whether you awkward. like it or not. Yeah, it is yeah exactly. Yeah, you don't get a choice. He just starts spraying, doesn't he? <laughs> you just came from the car wash. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah. In Austin, you know, we always had to walk under that bridge yep. where all, you know, several homeless people lived. Now, yeah, saw several of that while we were there that weekend. 
It's always funny to me. Mm. It's not funny. The situation's terrible. No, right, so right. You feel sorry. His mental illness is like a whole lot of problems there. But I just love watching the guy run up to a car with his little squeegee. You got to yeah. appreciate the effort. Yeah, there is effort there. Yep. Which well, there's is great. effort, but it's also they they were doing it because they wanted you to feel obligated to give them money. Oftentimes. Yeah. And yeah. they would put their hand out like, look at what I did for you. Give me my money. Right. I cleaned your and window. And that's fucked up. Yeah, it is. That's not a good thing. Anyone who ever does it like that is a bully. Yeah. And that, that's what I saw a lot of. Yeah, I'm a pro at saying no. I am. I have no feelings. Yeah. Sometimes, for anything or anyone. Oftentimes, <laughs> even though I know that people on the side of the road, they're asking for money and you go, well, they're probably going to do something with drugs or they're probably going to do something with whatever. Most of the time, I know a lot of these people make money doing this, and those are real fucking douchebags, just the ones that are lazy. Yeah. And like, I'm just going to sit on the side of the road and pan out because I can make money. But most of them are there because they're in a bad position, and you go, hopefully, God. If I was in that position, making bad choices, I would hope somebody would be kind enough to maybe give me a dollar, even though I don't deserve it. All my loose change, I always put, all the just random change, I always put in my little center console thing, and every now and then I'll just, you know, grab a little, little handful of that. I don't know how much it is. Yeah, it's yeah. like a, just whatever. hey, here's what I got. If they're at the yeah, if I they're like directly coming to a car, that's a nice easy thing, and I've always still got loose change. And my other technique that I just uh, developed, uh, mostly downtown, if I uh, park at the parking deck, uh, get my car charge on, I will exit my car and I see if I got like pinged by a couple homeless yeah. guys potentially, and I've seen them like you know three times in the last week, but they don't seem to remember. You know, <laughs> um, I walk with a purpose. To my destination, be at the bar. Um, but as they're walking, I'll make, I just tell them, I'm on the job, guys. Sorry. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Sounds it, official, though. Yeah. 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 I'm on the you job, guys. I can't. You just walk like in the hurry, and you're like, I'm sorry. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm, I'm on the job, guys. Oh, he's a busy man. We can't yeah. Do yeah. mess with it. It's very effective. That's great. Yeah, yeah thank you. I'm going to use that on my kids. Go for you, it. You know what's <laughs> fucked up, though, is when, when somebody approaches you. I've, I've had people approach me downtown when I'm with my kid. Tell, trying to, to do the song and dance of like that's tricky uh oh it's not a tricky it's fucked up no that's, that's what that's, i'm saying that's it's a tricky situation yeah because i'm just like you. you know what like you're gonna try to you're gonna try to feed me the bullshit line that you're trying to get gas yeah. i gotta go somewhere man sorry i'm not even gonna pretend to listen to you well that's when teaching comes in and the, i we're on purposely, the job yeah, yeah we're on the job <laughs> the teaching we're on job. The job perfect <laughs> yeah i'm on the job buddy <laughs> i can't uh, it's great but seriously because i purposely don't give money to homeless people when my kids are in the car because I let them know that could be you someday standing there on the corner begging for money if you don't get your shit together. And if I see you there, I'm going to pass you up and not give you anything because you didn't work hard and you didn't do the right thing. I'll probably now, I get it. That's change. not every situation. And a lot of times people with mental illness end up there and, you know, we don't as a society, maybe don't take care of those people. Vets, and should. No, I mean, it's vets, horrible. Oh, yeah. different. Uh, vets, yeah, it's that. different. Of course, but I mean, but way different. Lots money. of things lead there. We got money for the Lots war, but not enough there. to pay for the no trauma that comes from it. Or yes. there's the drugs. I mean, it's, it's all connected to everything else. It doesn't even yeah. have to be the veteran. It could be no. the veteran's wife. It could that be ends you know, up addicted to the ends the, up addicted to something pain because pills that he was right. whatever. Who exactly. Knows? There's so many different no, it's things. Fucking that tragedy. Are just but, awful. but the thing that I want to do overall, going back to my kids, is I want to scare them into success. But that's not the best way to go. It doesn't matter. It's I've, I've, it's I've, I've already way. I've already began the their he's their committed journey. to the strategy. Yeah, so, and know. I don't yeah. know the best. I mean, I just I think that the mostly fear tactic. As a shitty tactic, I think fear is a great thing to let them know about. It's good to be scared. It's you should be, but it's I just like the full on fear, fear, it's fear not, thing. It's not. It's not full on fear. It's not. I don't. I'm not like carrying them completely into like that part of it right there. That's what you have to fear. The other thing that I like to show them is what hard work can do. Well, you see that you live it. Yeah. So that's good enough. So, well, yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, and and I also pit them against each other. I'm like, who's, who's gonna be? Who's gonna make more money when who's they're older? Going to impress who's gonna be more? the better doctor? Ah, oh, I would not who's, want my who's kids gonna get to be a, a scholarship. Doctor. Scholarships, <laughs> schools are overrated. Oh, oh no shit! Who's but, gonna be a YouTuber? Yeah, <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm raising my hand. Me, not you. <laughs> Anybody in any new shows? Simon, you're under The Witcher, right? Man, I watched two I would, episodes. I would and like to talk about The Witcher. Go for it. How mu- I mean, who's, I, who's all seen anything? Half an okay. episode. Half an episode. I don't have to, to get back into I it. I finished it. One episode. One episode. Finished it. 
finished it. What does that tell you? Uh, that well, you that enjoyed you it enough it. to and finish it. You got plenty it. of time. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. It does, right? <laughs> it does. Um, well, there's only eight episodes, but they are an hour each. I split them up, but uh, it kept me going. Episode six kind of annoyed me, and then I, I, even, I even tweeted. I tweeted like a complete nerd, like bitching about The Witcher. <laughs> And I'm it's like, fun. I'm like episode six, the witcher. Like if you're a fucking, if you're a mage, why the hell are you sword fighting? Cause it annoyed me. I'm going, yeah. like, I remember that tweet. Cause yeah. your magic meters down. Man. I know. Got to fill back up. Yeah, you realize. <laughs> you realize. <laughs> so I was so like, cute. Oh, okay. I get it. But that episode two, a lot of, a lot of like, there's, there's, um, love involved in the show that you yeah. guys seen anything. Yeah. You don't know between who yet, but there's love. For an episode there, I was like, oh, fuck, they're fucking this thing. They're going <laughs> to fuck it all up. And then I said, all right, I'm going to finish it. And then I was happy. And then now I'm like, yeah, bring on season two. Awesome. Go, huh? mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to completing the series because I hear nothing but good things about it. I love him. Too. I watched. Yeah, yeah he's great. Yeah. He's um, great in it. My only criticism of him, or I mean, uh, he's he's doing great, but it almost sounds like he's doing an impression of the video game right, Witcher, right, which right. you pr you probably don't remember ever hearing or playing. I'm okay with that because yeah, I don't. I I think it's it's, I, it's fine, but it is somewhat because I played all the way through The Witcher Three, love it, and then so just to hear so him just what other angle would you to be, go though? I don't know. Yeah, it seems like that's the only I've way. I, I feel like he could have just been himself. Yeah, it, it, it feels like you know you remember when Christian Bale was been. really. Doing the Batman voice, do I remember? Oh, oh, Batman, it's still you know, in my head every night. It kind of like it, it comes <laughs> off like me. that a little bit to me, where it's like, okay, he's doing the voice. Well, and maybe I wish he, he loves do the it voice. so much because apparently he's a big geek. No, yeah, he he does, but uh, that's 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 the only criticism. But I've only seen two episodes. He's but my I latest. Was fine with it. Yeah, I was I was fine with it. He's my latest man crush. I'm not going to try it though, but voice wise this morning, I don't know why in my head I woke up and I said something to uh, to my dog, Emily, who was in the crate as I was getting Aww. up and she's the happiest little dumpling to wake up to. Oh. It. So it's like, you know, it's like she hasn't seen me in a year. You know how it goes. Yeah. Yes. Puppy. Just adorable. I, I hear her. Her tail hitting the side of the, <laughs> like, oh, he's of the crate she's in. Yeah. You know, like, I can't wait. And I, I was just like baby talking her kind of um, all cutesy talk. And uh, it sounded I did something that sounded like Pennywise in the new It movies. Really? And uh, I was yeah. like, ooh, I'm not going to do it now. But um, I don't know why that came up. Just the voices thing. Yeah. Why I sound like an idiot or? when I when I talk to my dog. I can't do it. I'm going to practice that, though. It was a the, fun voice. The It voice. I've yeah, not seen those movies yet. I don't know how it's a shame. They're both really fun. Well, can you say it though, like the like Penny? No, uh -huh. no, no, no. I'd have to. I'd have I'm to. Penny Ross. No, okay. it's not Penny, that. Penny, 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 Penny. Mm, it's a little off on I'm that. This around, yeah, and you Penny. didn't change it when you tried that either. Penny. <laughs> it's I got the same voice. Yeah. Still not that voice. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, yeah. that's it. You nailed, nailed it. it. Nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was really good work there. This is synergy, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is what synergy is. I want to see an it or a clown movie with that voice now. And we you can just, voice over the whole damn thing with that voice. <laughs> well, if you yeah. pay for it. Let's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's so, uh, ooh, that's expensive. You got to yeah, yeah, read the whole all voice. Of those, all those lines, that's $500 right there. <laughs> Go to the movies. <laughs> but you can watch The Expanse. Man, I love The Expanse. Go for it. Holy shit. I mean, I pitch I, it. Pitch our it. third pitch sponsor. It. Yeah, pitch there you go. Third pitch sponsor. Me. Why should I watch The Expanse? I forget about it already. Um... I, I don't know. I, it's like, weird. All right, all right, you well, put me on the spot. Give me, here we give go, here me we go. A, like a genre. Right. Well, it's it's set uh, it's set in the future of humanity. Okay. Um, and you have all these different factions. There's Earth and Luna. There's Mars, and then there's the Belt. There's people working on the asteroids in the outer Belt line. Okay. So you got these three little factions, and uh, the Belt is entirely reliant on Earth and Mars, and Mars wants control of the belt, Earth wants control of the belt, and the belt wants to be their own thing. So you got like, kind of these three factions, a power struggle working together. All right, I don't think I need it anymore. I'm in. It's wonderful. I want to see and it's this. Really done, it's done well, huh? It's shot wonderfully. And I what, like who, the acting. I like it? the characters. Huh? Who? Uh, where's it on? It's on Amazon. It's an Good. Amazon original series. Great. And I just fired it up and started watching, and I was like three episodes in. I'm like, this is awesome. I like this a lot. Any notable actors or actresses? Thomas Jane's in it. Uh, and his, Yeah, he's great. Thomas Jane. Uh, he's, he's, he was the Punisher. He's go-to. Oh, yeah. He was the is Punisher. No, he was the Punisher. <laughs> Does he look Italian? Didn't he play? Kinda. He was the Punisher. Yeah. No, but I thought, he was the, I thought he was Italian. Did he or play? Or Hispanic. Who played Raiden? No, you're, I know who you're thinking. That's uh, Christopher Lambert. <laughs> it's not, Chris, it's not yeah, Christopher Lambert. 
but, yeah. but the Punisher is does look Latino or Italian, doesn't he? No, I different think... Punisher. First Punisher. Thomas Jane Punisher. Oh. Because he was agreeing with yeah, me. Yeah, and I'm yeah, going, yeah. I didn't, no, I didn't know the, the other one that I know looks Italian. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and he, that's the most recent Punisher. So yeah. I don't remember the original. That's it. Anybody excited for Dune? No. Why? I was never into the first one, so I mean, I'll watch it. That movie was like garbage. Yeah. It's the story. It's the book that's like beloved in science fiction. It's the book that's, oh, so I'm sure it'll be great. I don't know much about it. It's considered like the Bible. That's why I think The Witcher's really good, because I could tell, you could tell, or at least I think it is, because it's supposed to be a great book, uh, and it kind of like is put together like it's a book. Yeah, a little bit. um, I've... I've read both the books and played the game, so it's nice watching the series because I knew what was going on. It's like names and places, you know, for someone jumping in for the first time, it's, I would imagine, it's kind of confusing. It it's, is confusing. There's a lot of different factions. But you I know, keep yeah. on going and I go, you know what? I don't understand it, but I, I'm still interested in watching it. I'm sure I'll probably figure it out. Yeah. If I was sitting there watching with you, I'd probably like, what's that? A lot. <laughs> but I'm going, I'm just it's like, that's theory. If you want to, Thomas Jane wise, if you want to, uh, just a hilarious scene, as hilarious as they come, um, watch. The Mist, um, that Stephen King story uh, with the the latest one. It came out oh, yeah. several years yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. The Frank movie. Darabont direct, yeah. directed it. Thomas Jane is the main guy. And, That's and right. And the final scene in it, what a, what a oh. hoot. What a hoot that is. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I was in a funk yeah, for so two funny. fucking days. A horror movie. No shit. Ends like a comedy. I saw it with some friends in the theater, and I remember for two days <laughs> feeling a funk. I felt like, oh, God. Yeah. I felt it. it. It lingered with me, man. I'm not going to tell you why. Okay. But it yeah. was an ending that um, Frank Darabont came up with on Stephen King's story, and Stephen King was like, oh, hell yeah. You don't forget it, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. It's straight fucked. Yeah, it is. Oh, like, uh, yeah, it stands out. I don't remember anything that happened in that movie, but I remember the ending <laughs> and just going death. like, God damn. But yeah, it was, wow. it was Ooh, Thomas Jane. I saw Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems? Oh, how was that? Dude, and Kevin Garnett killed it, huh? Kevin Garnett killed it. That's awesome, Hold man. On. I love him. Real quick, I want to bring Thomas Jane back and go the bring it for in. a second. And then I want to talk about Because this might, you know, this is one of those situations where I think our computers are listening to us because up here in the search things is uh Punisher, Expanse, <laughs> Christopher Lambert. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Wow. How are Thomas Jane and Christopher Lambert related? Well, why I, did why did you bring up Christopher Lambert? I don't Raiden? know. Just uh white guy oh because actor. they kind of look alike no i mean because look there's a lot of side by like, side oh, yeah, pictures yeah, yeah. they kind of are they've both worked in their career on the same level of show most Highlander, of their career yeah just like kind of the same filler white yeah. guy they look yeah they, now that i'm looking at these side by side photos yeah. damn they're okay. they they both have a lot, lot of forehead maybe that's it i don't know it's the forehead and the lips just pop and eyes. yeah they, they have a lot of, they have a they have at least a five or six head is what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. <laughs> like James Vanderbeek should be next to them. Oh, God. He's, I like James Vanderbeek. He's like the CEO of Foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, that's weird. Go ahead, Simon. for Lambert. I wanted to hear. Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. What's that about? It's not what I thought it was going to no. be. Well, he didn't. Adam Sandler didn't write it or anything. He was just asked to, you know, to play the part. You know what oh. I mean? It wasn't his movie. Well, you ever see Punch? Is it Punch Drunk Love? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way Which back I, oh when. yeah, that was a fucked up. movie. I really enjoyed yeah. it though. I enjoyed it, but it was very fucked up. It was very like dark, very dark, and yeah. So, and this was uh, very dark and made sense and was fucked up and yeah. like oh shit, and then and then the end is like okie doke. You know what? Sandler gets shit on a lot for probably great good actor. Reason, but- but yeah, I mean, every now and every now and then he'll just do something kind of wild like that. Dude, and it's he like, fucking you know nailed what? this. Okay. Killed it. That's why I think um, nailed it. If he's not the writer and he's not part of that whole creative process, like I feel like he can really contribute a lot. Like, well, his, his, his writing it. is just like, okay, I want me and my buddies to go on vacation. It's the same. I'm gonna write a script that yeah, takes place on a cruise ship. And good like, for him. You know what? I'm, I'm fine but with that. But he's done other Sandler stuff. Go. He's done other yeah, stuff of that course. isn't that silly, goofy stuff that he's written that's been good. And like he's written a lot. Of, most of his shit, like that, a <laughs> lot of that. chicken's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like, that shit was fucked up. Like, I never even saw that movie. There's a lot of his stuff that I, I'd never even seen. I just went, that, that doesn't interest me at all. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to th- give anything yeah, but, away. But Garnett killed it, huh? Garnett, for the like, fact that he's he not a fe- fucking actor, no, and no, he was I... a big part in it. Yeah. So you go like, 
okay, like here there's a truth. Yeah, it, it uh, yeah, him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It, nothing was distracting. And this is a, this is a 7 foot fucking basketball player yeah, that's one of the best like, in the in the uh, world. Anyone who doesn't know, he was um uh I think he was the first player recruited pretty much right out of like he was like the youngest did Brought he go to NBA. high school? Like, 18? Was he? Uh, yeah, I think he was 18. Maybe, maybe? 18 pro. It okay. was the first wow. uh, years ago. I know who he is. I don't, I don't know. Uh, his and he was backstory, a Minnesota but... Timberwolf. So my buddy had season tickets back then. It was years and years ago. And uh, so I got to see him a lot when he was just a just a baby out there on the court. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe KG. Yeah. He always seemed like just a stand up guy. Well, I think we, I think we all have now. I finally saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I didn't see yeah. it. Oh, you hadn't seen that I'm, yet. Damn. Okay. Look at okay. me. I'm the. Well, give me, hey, give me a thumbs the, up, a sideways BBD. or a down. I have it. Oh, sideways for me. Okay. I want JoJo first. JoJo Rabbit's great. Oh, yeah. Dad, JoJo's you great. you got to see JoJo Rabbit. I'm going to get that to you. Okay, thanks. I'm next on that. We, okay. we need to all like I'm next. We need to all pick movies and watch them so we can at least talk about them because I yeah, feel like yeah. I've, like we can't like we haven't talked about Star Wars yet because like some of us haven't seen it. Okay. Well, we I'm need... not going to see it. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know Duralis wants to. Yeah. I was going to go <laughs> this last Friday, and I forgot. I think that he's. I think that he's out of it now. Like by the next time you want to do it, you should. You should. You should try to see it because when you want to do it, you should just do it. There's mm-hmm. just yeah. It's Commit such to the craft. It's Commit such an, to it, Duralis. <laughs> right. okay. It's such an interesting. To to me, it's like watching a train wreck at this point. You know. Yeah. It's like I I I tell myself I don't want to see any more Star Wars movies, but I I got to see this train wreck. So. Are do are they doing the um what's the Knights Darth the Maul Pro- thing? Um, the Darth Maul thing. I no, I did it. hear that they were doing there something like such... that, but I also they need to just get away from all that shit. Obi Wan. Yeah. Well, they're doing Obi Wan, oh, and they're also doing a Knights of the Old Republic series. Okay, which See, that was a great, that was an amazing game. The game uh, was amazing. Like I worry about that being translated to film uh, uh, because I, I because the game is amazing. And it's like I, I I think a lot of people know that story. I wish they would just do something completely different. Yeah, this is set. Five thousand years after the events of Return of the Jedi, like, I want to see all, it. all new characters, all new adventures. I want to see a Hammerhead spinoff. A what spin? Hammerhead. Off? Hammerhead. What are you? What are you on about? Hammerhead. What's Hammerhead? The, oh, the the alien in there that's got the. Yeah, it was in the original head. Star Wars. Oh, yeah, that that guy. Okay. He was a bounty hunter, actually. He was, yeah. Well, what? Gonk Droid. That should be maybe a movie. wasn't a bounty oh, Gonk hunter. Droid. Gonk. Gonk. I want to see a spinoff about Gonk. Hammerhead. I don't know anything. Nobody thing. knows anything. You, you could do whatever you want. <laughs> or Greedo. Give me some Greedo. Yeah. That universe is just, they're, they're so scared to get away from that little clump yeah. of Star Wars. It's like, that's that's what makes the new ones kind of uninteresting. It's like, get, get away from all this shit. Well, they, why don't you just, I mean, I mean, it, it's basically that it just turns into another alien movie it does be- it's, it doesn't have to do anything to do go with star game wars of thrones let's just with it. write an alien movie us yeah. go game of thrones with it in star wars have one character just like i'm off and discovers a whole new star wars universe yes from so, scratch see, like that's why we isn't should Arya, like wasn't you know she essentially just set off in game of thrones to go where nobody's seen like right. to open up potentially like an entirely right. go new to a new universe star, star wars, wars could easily do that that's all I mean, you gotta do the whole damn the whole damn thing set in a galaxy yeah you know what that's i mean my point. The, the fucking, you go through a black hole bam <laughs> yeah another galaxy <laughs> another galaxy. Elf. what's up Al? Hey, Al. yeah <laughs> let's bring out <Elf laughs> back i don't know yeah it's just such a weird like the directions they've taken with that franchise. It's they are fascinating scared. to watch. They're well, they're oh, shitty. Yeah. It's shitty writing too, man. Yeah, so, oh. well, it's, so it's written by a committee. You can tell. You right. Can, you can tell yes, there are like the ten problem. people in this writing room, and going, half of them are in business suits. And yeah. the fan service is real. Yeah, it's it's obnoxious. I call it fan jobs. It is a fan job. Yep. There's one. I, I, this isn't going to spoil the movie. There's one moment in the I'll movie that Anthony had to tell me what the fuck that meant because like someone comes up to Chewie and they're like Princess Leia wanted you to have this and they handled like a gold oh, yeah. medal and I'm like what the fuck is that what the fuck does that mean and Anthony had to tell me there's this whole thing that people were mad that Chewie didn't get a medal at the end of episode four I do hope. Hope. Yeah. God. and I'm like what like that's a thing and that had to be put in the middle like that shouldn't be there that's such a fan service jack off thing just leave that out has nothing to do with the story. Wookiees are allergic what to that f- particular material. If, if that had been a thing in the movie where Chewie's been mad for four <laughs> movies that he didn't get the medal, <laughs> and then he got the medal, fine, because it's in the movie. It makes yeah. sense in the context yeah. of the film. But just to put it in there because the fans say it, like, you, you have to get to a point where when you're writing, you got to be like, all right, fuck the fans a little so bit. So how many fans in the theater are like, oh, yay. I'm sure a bunch. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure opening night, you know, they were just drooling and clapping. <laughs> 
I fucking shit in them fucking diapers. I don't yep, know. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I make fun. I mean, I like Star Wars to an extent. And this one, I will say, I like the latest one I enjoyed because of how stupid it was. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just it's, fun, huh? Yeah, exactly. It, it, it goes a mile a minute. You don't really have time to think. And I'm just like, what? whatever. I'm along for this ride. Mm-hmm. It's like the opening crawl. The first line of the opening crawl is, the dead speak. Just tells you how dumb that's going to be. It's like, yep, this the, is going to be stupid. The mm. dead speak. The dead speak. It's so profound. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, here we go. <laughs> Ghosts. <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah. Boogity boos. Mm-hmm. The dead tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. They just didn't get, they didn't know what to do. What do we do? What do we do with this last film? Uh, let's bring back uh, the, the only villain that anybody knows. <laughs> Hook him up on life support. And that's what they did? Yeah, I mean, even from the trailer, it was like, we're bringing Palpatine back, you know, the guy in the black hood. And who gives a fuck about him? Nobody. I was (laughs) supposed to be dead. I was more excited about Snopes. Snopes? And I was excited that they killed, like, for a second, I was like, they're going in an interesting direction. Snoke. Snoke. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I wanted more. Snow. I was I was excited for a second Snow because they like cut him Snow and it's Cain. like let's join forces. It's like I want to see that where was this his goes. Full name, <laughs> Snoky Pokey. Yeah, <laughs> Snow Cane yeah. is good on two levels. There. Snow Cane, Snow Cane. Oh yeah. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never really heard that. Don't do drugs. And what a waste of Andy's <laughs> circus. What a waste of Andy's circus. He mm. could have been good. Right. Mm. I have no idea who you're talking about. Andy Circus, that's who played Snoke. Yeah, I don't even Gollum, know who Snoke is. Played, uh, oh, I know Gollum. Was, Andy played, Circus King, played Gollum. King Kong and uh, yeah. yeah, you yeah. never see his Peter face. Jackson's he's always King digital. Kong. He's always digital. Right? Yeah, he's cartoon, cartoon man. Yeah, you don't want to see his face. You see no. his face in uh, was it Black Panther? He was yeah. The, he was the villain in that. It was yep. great, but yeah, died too early. Yeah. They were like, yeah, he's this really interesting villain. I was like, ooh, Sandy, and he's killing it. He was like, he was fun, energetic. I was like, mm-hmm. he's going to be a good villain for this movie. I was like, okay, no, he's gone. Mm-hmm. Now we got, uh, uh, what is his, Michael, what's his name? What's that uh, actor? Mike, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. And he's got like uh, beads all over his body tattooed in. Michael Beads. I heard Michael that beads. that. Uh, Michael Beads Jordan. <laughs> Any of you guys see that TV show? TV show. Sounds weird to say that. <laughs> yeah. The TV show. That streaming series. Uh, that's. Uh, I guess he was produced, and I think he's in it. And it's about like a little boy, and uh, he's a superhero. It's on like I Netflix. saw the trailer for this. It was uh, and he's the, in little, the little, little black kid, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're saying there's a superhero show coming out? <laughs> but the no, this superhero is a novel show idea. <laughs> I heard, but it's about a kid who's a superhero. So it's a little bit different oh. because the kid, and apparently, is, you know, it's supposed to be like a kind of a, you know, it's like a single. I think it might be a single mom, yeah, little boy who's like maybe five or four. And trying to protect him because he's got these powers. Mm-hmm. Did anyone see Bar- Brightburn? Mm-mm. No, it's Brightburn. No, it, was, it was basically a movie where it's like Superman, the kid, you know, the young. Yeah, Clark like what Kent if Superman was an asshole? Turns in like evil. Yeah. What if he was a real brat? I never saw it. I was just curious. Oh, like, okay. I'm a superhero. I'm using my laser eye to cut daddy in half. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Daddy's Somebody's... been bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Which probably would have happened when you really think about. Because every kid I've ever known throws tantrums. Clark Kent, even as a baby, would have thrown a tantrum You're at some little, point. Yeah. Like, not a thick Jonathan house, and though. Martha Kent would yeah. have been bruised and beaten like all the time. No, he was no, he was a better person. He had better. He can't. He had come from better. I don't think he could ever really. Well, it was very difficult to get him very upset out in the farm life. Mm, the farm maybe. life is very easy. But you know, there's got to be <laughs> super easy. Super there's easy. There's got to be those farm. nights where Clark, no, you can't have cake. You didn't eat your veggies, and he just throws a chair through the no. window <laughs> into space and just kicks their car over into the next field. That's true. Or he could have just. I want my veggies. cake, mommy. <laughs> I want to see the uh, the John and Martha Kent show. Where they have to deal with a fucking three year old. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Did a you three do year old chores, super baby? Clark? <laughs> yeah. I, wonder I if... already tilled the entire field. Just yeah. like five minutes. <laughs> what do I got? That would be the, like the uh, adolescent there. the adolescent years. <laughs> and I bet you nobody owns the public domain rights to like the original Superman. Like the probably have you can go with the designs of uh the mother and the father we'll make a cartoon about it you could picture like he's laying in bed you know head to the side and he can see right through his wall his parents banging banging <laughs> every... <laughs> right Just the son of a up version of this <laughs> yeah. you know like oh, <laughs> turns over again uh, <laughs> yeah that'd be a nightmare yeah it would no good god no good what do you think simon we we, we blabbed enough? I what? think we might have. You guys the good, feeling good with the blab? Yeah. Pretty good about the blabs. Yeah, it was a fun blab today. Yeah, it was a nice blab. blab, y'all. Yeah, I, I miss Neebs, though. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot That's he was right, even he's not going. here. Yeah, we talked Neebs. about it, I think. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on the job right now. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, thanks. Thank you. 